Hello, welcome back to Carl's Place. I am Carl and it's time for another challenge, another recipe testing, another taste testing. And what am I taking on? It's popular, it's well known, but is it good? The Elvis sandwich. Stick with me, let's find out. Okay, so I don't know if you've ever heard of the Elvis sandwich. This is the, the sandwich that Elvis Presley apparently loved to eat. Um, he had had tried it in a restaurant, I, think, I could be wrong, I think in Wisconsin, um, loved it so much, he brought all his friends on a plane just to try the sandwich. And the sandwich is grilled peanut butter, bananas, and bacon. So I love peanut butter. I love, love bacon. I like a banana. You know, a fresh banana. I don't like banana flavor. So, but fresh bananas are fine. And white bread. And that's it. Grilled until the peanut butter is nice and melty. And that's it. And I love melty peanut butter. Uh, one of my favorite snacks is um, toasted English muffins with butter and peanut butter. And of course, a glass of milk. So, I don't think, I don't think the sandwich will be nasty. So, I, I'm hoping for a big surprise. And We'll, we'll find out. So, all right, the ingredients, nice and simple. Two pieces of white bread. It didn't specify what kind of bread, so I'm assuming your favorite white bread, and it didn't mention any other kind of bread other than white bread. A half a banana, which is going to be sliced into four thin slices, specifically said four thin slices. That's your, your favorite smooth peanut butter. Um, it didn't say chunky. It said smooth peanut butter. So whichever kind you like, you go ahead and use that. And the recipe called for four pieces of bacon, but I love bacon, so I'm gonna do five. Crispy bacon, I'm gonna lay it right on the sandwich. And just a little bit of butter for the outside of the bread, because we're gonna grill it on, in a frying pan and see how it tastes. Let's assemble. <laughs> Okay, let's go ahead and get the white bread facing each other. Put the peanut butter on. It didn't look like it was a ton of peanut butter and apparently you cook it until this gets melty. So I think that's, that's good. This off the knife. Don't want to waste any. Now the banana, it said to, I'm going to cut that little end off, it said to cut into four thin slices. Let's see how good my slicing abilities are. Two. Four. And just go ahead and lay that right on there. Whoops. Slippery suckers. You put your bacon on. Four slices, but five if you love bacon. Close up your sandwich. Give it a soft press. Put a little butter on the top slice. This is going to be the side you put down in the frying pan. And then once you put it in the frying pan, then you can go ahead and butter the other side. So let's bring this over to the stove and get it cooked up. Okay, so I have a pan, clearly, about a medium sized pan. I'm going to put it on uh, between medium and medium high. 
going to go ahead and lay the butter side down. And you want to butter the other side because you're going to flip it. Okay, I'm turning the heat up to medium high because I don't hear any sizzling yet. Okay, I'm going to flip it over. Ooh, that's how it's nice and toasted already. Give it just a little pat down. Oh yeah, perfectly toasted. And turn it down to medium. I didn't hear it sizzling. Okay, I don't know if you can see, but the peanut butter is already starting to ooze out of the sandwich. Smells good. And I think we're done. Turn the heat off. Both sides are nice and toasted. And put this on a plate. And there you have it. The Elvis sandwich. Let's go ahead and give it a taste. Okay, folks. We're ready. Oh, and on a side note, I'm so excited. I bought a, a little stool. So I could actually squish my down into squish my body down into the frame <laughs> instead of having to cut my head off or cut the food off when I'm taste testing. So, and it's cool stool. It spins, it goes up and down. I'm happy. Well, let's get serious. Elvis sandwich, popular, well known, but is it good? Let's find out. All right. Get my little napkin here. Get my glass of milk because I have to have milk with peanut butter. Let's cut in and see what we got. Okay. See that? Peanut butter is warm. It's not overly oozy, but it's Drippy. Okay. It doesn't smell like bacon, it smells like peanut butter. So here we go. Oh, and I apologize in advance for any grossness or feeling of disgust you may have while watching me eat this with a beard. Um, Elvis didn't have a beard, so if you get peanut butter on his face, he just wiped it off. I have to wash my whole face if that happens, so. Sorry. Here we go. <laughs> wow. Um. It's not bad. It's not. I don't think it's something I would ask for, but yeah, it's kind of weird. I don't taste the bacon at all, so I don't understand the purpose. Um, it smells like peanut butter, but when you bite into it, you get more of a banana taste than anything. Yeah, I mean, I went to someone's house and they served it to me. I would eat it. Sure. Sure. Would I fly a whole bunch of people to another state for them just to try it? Probably not. Not a pastrami sandwich, that I would do. <laughs> just saying. But, so, it's not a lose, not a win. It's it's okay. Um, I don't know, I did, 
I did see one variation that put a little bit of honey on here too. So I don't know if that makes any difference. I can't imagine it would. Because like I said, the banana overwhelms everything. The smell is peanut butter. And there's really nothing from the bacon. Unfortunately, that's my favorite part. So, so it's a, how do you do that? There we go. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Give it a try yourself. Let me know if you, you, if you like it. Um, that's it for today. I hope you liked today's video. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you have subscribed, don't forget to hit your notification button so you don't miss any future videos from Carl's Place. Have a great day, guys. Bye-bye. <laughs>